guys, and today I'm back with another three looks, one palette video. I'm going to be showing you three looks with one palette. Pretty self-explanatory. Today the palette in question is brand new from Too Faced as a part of their Peaches and Cream collection. It is the Just Peachy Mattes palette. I will link to the rest of my three looks, one palette down below if you would like to see some other palettes in action. I'm going to start with the review, then we will jump into the three different looks, and I will have timestamps down below if you are just looking to skip ahead and don't want to see the whole thing. As well, if you have not already subscribed, be sure to do so, but let's go ahead and get started. The Too Faced Just Peachy Velvet Matte Palette launched on August 30th on the Sephora website a day prior to the rest of the Peaches and Cream collection. I purchased it on the website. Ebates was doing a 10% cash back at the time, which was such a bonus. I will link to Ebates down below if you're looking to get cash back on your online purchases. I talk about it all the time, but it's seriously the best thing ever. This palette retails for $55 Canadian, $45 American. You're getting 12 shades in there that are matte, although I think that there's really only 11 matte shades in there, but I'll get to that momentarily. The palette, of course, it comes in beautiful packaging with gold detailing. It's a little bit of a different shape than what Too Faced normally does, but I really do like it. In here, as I mentioned, you are getting 12 shadows and 15 grams of total product, which is two grams less than the uh, Chocolate Bonbon palette, than the, uh, the other peach palette. So a little bit less in total grams, but you are getting getting a few less shadows in here because there are only 12 shadows. I want to mention my experience with this palette. Although it is pretty new to me, I do have a few thoughts on it, just initial kind of observations and feelings. My first feeling is that it's freaking gorgeous. This is what I wanted out of the original peach palette. It is super peachy. I also love that this collection is matte, which makes it even more tempting to me. I saw somebody mention that perhaps it's matte as opposed to glowy because of the outside of a peach, how it's kind of furry and matte. And I was like, okay, yeah, that kind of makes sense. And I love of anything matte. There are 11 matte shades in here in my opinion. This shade here, Peach Sangria, definitely has a satin finish. There's no glitter in there. There's no strong shimmer, but it's definitely a satin. On the eyes, it doesn't have a super discerning satiny kind of look but I just did want to kind of point that out. As well, the shades Peach Meringue and Peach Butter are kind of similar to me. One has a more of a yellow undertone, one has a little bit more of like a peachy pink undertone. Unless you're packing it on really, really strongly on your eyes, I really don't think you're gonna get that much of a difference. So to me, it's kind of a missed opportunity for another um, more interesting shade in there. It's not a big lose to me. I do like having the kind of matte cream shades in there to set my eyes, to go under my brow bone, but I do think that they are just kind of similar on the eyes. Otherwise, I think the shade selection is gorgeous. I think they're really complimentary. I think it is incredibly versatile and I hope to show you that today in my looks. I'm not a makeup artist. You will see my eyes kind of fall apart. I've had to reapply my concealer and all kinds of stuff. When you do three eye looks in a row, things start to get a little bit messy, but I hope that this will give you an idea on the kind of looks that you can get and you'll be able to decide if you want to pick this palette up for yourself. It does have a very strong peach scent, a little bit stronger than the original peach scent in my my opinion but once you put it on your eyes that totally dissipates but if you're someone that is sensitive to that kind of thing you definitely can smell it during application so let's go ahead and get into my looks for this first look I'm setting my eyeshadow primer with peach meringue and then going into my crease and outer corner with peach tea it's just a little bit deeper than my skin tone so it's a really nice kind of starter shade onto just peachy which I'm kind of going over those same areas with the outer corner through the crease and on to fresh picked this is one of my favorite shades in the palette it's kind of plain I guess but it's just a really pleasing shade and I think my favorite shade in the palette is peaches and cream because it surprised me so much these pastels can be really patchy and chalky and not really translate on the skin but I didn't even have a white base on and I thought that this just looked so beautiful Back in with Fresh Picked in my crease outer corner and along the lower lash line. This is the finished eye look. I've added just a mascara, no liner, and everything that's on my face is listed down below. Really happy with how this turned out. For the lips, I used ColourPop BFF3, Wet n Wild, Just Peachy, I mean, I kind of had to, and then from the last peach release, this is one of their lip creams in Pure Peach. For look number two, I set my eye base with peach butter. As you can see, not a big difference between the peach butter and peach meringue. In the outer corner and kind of outer V of my eye, I'm using peach punch. I love this shade. I just kind of kept building it up. It is a really kind of beautiful punchy shade as it's called. 
And then in with peach cobbler on my lid. Adding in peach tart, one of the kind of deeper browns in the palette. This is kind of the warmer of the two in my outer corner to add some definition and kind of blending that into the middle of my eye and along my lower lash line as well. Just kind of going in with a clean brush, blending that all together. And back with some of the peach butter to kind of highlight my inner corner and peach cobbler along my lower lash line to kind of smoke it out a little bit more. Added this beautiful Maybelline Master Precise Ink Metallic in Teal Galaxy. This impressed me so much and I thought it was kind of fun to pair the green with the peach like a real peach. And then on the lips, this is a Bite Beauty Liquid Lipstick in the shade Chai. It's a shade extension. For this third look, I wanted to go with something a little less obvious, I feel like, using the shade Fresh Picked in my crease that I used in some of my other looks. I tried to use every shade in the palette, and I, I accomplished that. Yes, I did. Just Ripe in my outer corner, and I really like this shade because it did translate purple. Purples can be tricky sometimes, or it's kind of like a purple maroon, and on my inner corner there as well, sort of going for a halo type look. And then adding back in some of that eye base and you'll see here this is peach sangria and you'll just see that it's not completely matte i mean it doesn't really bother me i don't really care um but just a heads up it isn't a matte shade and then in the outer corner using the deepest shade chocolate dipped in the palette this is definitely a really cool toned incredibly deep brown and blending that out with a clean brush back in with peach sangria on the lower lash line i love the way this looked on the lower lash line and using peach punch i wanted to add in just a little bit more peach into this look in the crease I used a Dior Show Maroon Liner on my lower lash line and a Makeup Forever Purple Liner on my upper lash line. These are the metallic liquid lipsticks from the Wet n Wild Mermaid Collection. I kind of combined the purple and the coral shade. I really liked the way it was kind of monochromatic with the eye look. And here is the finished look. It is definitely starting to feel kind of like fall here in Toronto, so I thought I would do something a little bit deeper. I hope you enjoyed those three looks. I really had a lot of fun playing around with this palette. I think I will continue to have fun playing around with it, bringing in other kind of complimentary shimmer shades, but I did enjoy kind of challenging myself with all matte for three different looks, and I was really happy with the way that it all came out. The formula is not as powdery as I'm used to, but it's by no means stiff either. It's kind of somewhere in the middle. I know kickback on shadows is a point of contention lately on YouTube. I'm incredibly impressed with this palette. I really love it. I feel like it was a good buy and I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. Be sure to let me know if you plan on picking up this palette or anything else from the collection and what palettes you would like to see next for another three looks, one palette. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Samantha Jane YT and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!